Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Talha Parkar and in this video, I will be dealing with a particular issue that is related to a previous video that I did. So as you can see on the screen, I have cre uh, created a video for showing how you can connect a Google Sheet to Power BI. And now in this video, I'll be showing you how you can use refresh in power bi service because there's a comment on that video where someone asked me that they have some issues with refresh in power bi service when they load data from google sheet so that's what i'll be doing right now so as you can see that i have data in my google sheet and if you come to my power bi desktop uh, sorry <clears throat> i have already imported that data from the google sheet by going to this option from web and I have copied the link. If you do not know how to do that, you do that. You can go back to the previous video and watch it. I'll paste the link in the in the description below. So now that I have uh, four four countries and I have the sales amount for those countries, just a sample data that I created. So now what we want to do is we want to see how we can exactly you know work the whole refresh thing when it, when exporting when importing data from a Google Sheet because like we know in Excel, what you can do is you can add a add an extra row or add an extra column and you can just hit refresh and it works so now what i've done is i've taken this a step ahead i have also published this data this dashboard to my power bi service so here i have the dashboard and here's the dashboard that i've published to my power bi service as well now what i'll do is i will go back to my google sheet and let's add another country so let's add Bhutan and myanmar and let's just have them at uh, 200 and 300. So now earlier I had these four countries and their sales. Now I have added these two countries. Now this has been updated. Now let's come back to a Power BI server, Power BI desktop and let's hit refresh right here. And let's see if it works. It actually should. So yeah, as you can see, and let me just decrease the size of the bubbles. Yeah, so yes, I've made them smaller. So we have the two extra countries. We added Bhutan and Myanmar. Now let's go back to our, now I'm not saving this, okay? I'm going directly to my Power BI service. And there are a couple of ways that you can hit refresh over here. So for example, you can come down to my workspace and you can come to your reports and you can, uh, not on the dashboard, you can go down to the data set because we have to refresh the data set. Huh. So here is the data set that I need. Just let me expand this if possible. Yeah. So Google Sheet sample data set. You hit the three dots, the ellipsis, and you click on refresh now. You also have the option to schedule the refresh for later. So you hit on refresh now. And just give it a second. It shouldn't take much time because we don't have a lot of data. We just have a couple of rows. And uh, that should work. Why isn't that working? Yeah, sure. Sorry. I don't know why that was not working, but you also have the refresh button over here. So now one issue I faced before I recorded the video, I tried doing this and it showed me that there was an error. That was mainly because I was, I'm using a uh, Power BI service on incognito uh, because it doesn't open on the normal browser, normal mode. There's some issue in my Google Chrome. So I'm using it on incognito in Google Chrome. So I need to be logged into the Google sheet on this uh, tab as well. So now that I've logged in, it is uh, directly taking in. But before this, when I did, had not logged in, it showed me an error because it was not able to connect to the Google sheet without the permission of it. But without the permission because I need to be logged in as a user into the Google Sheet because I'm logged in into Power BI service as well. So this is how you can use uh, Refresh. I hope I've answered the individual's comment and his query. And if you need to know more about data refresh in Power BI, you can go to the official Microsoft documentation about data refresh in Power BI and you can read it, read from here. So they have a lot of in-depth information for it's a bit advanced as well but no harm in knowing all this what are the different types of data set what are the different types of refresh available in power bi etc i'll paste i'll be pasting this link in the comments as well what are the best practices that you can you know use while using refresh in power bi desktop so thank you i hope you learned something new so this is how you refresh data 
why when you import it from a Google Sheet. Stay tuned for more content on Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, Tableau, and Power BI. Thank you. I hope you learned something new.